Still no messages on my phone. I guess he wasn't going to call me back after all. I can't really blame him. Maybe I came on a bit too fast yesterday. I had noticed him long before he noticed me. His shiny black hair and unnatural blue eyes. I wasn't the only one watching him, that's for sure. His movements were elegant in a boyish way. And his smile. His smile. I would die for that smile. <sighs> Still no messages. I thought about calling him. Maybe apologize for going too fast yesterday. I'm a coward, I know, but I just could not bring myself to dial his number. Besides, he'd promised he'd contact me when he's ready. So I'll wait. I'm patient. Oh, I know. I'll just casually stroll past his house, just to see if he's home. Maybe he's out. That would explain why he couldn't call me yet. He only lives half an hour away anyways. Maybe he's shy and is scared to call me. Silly boy. I'll go to him and tell him that he doesn't have to be scared. That I don't mind if he needs time. He lives pretty secluded in a farm on the outskirts of town. I can hear the sheep in the stables as I approach. My heart skips when I see there's a light burning inside. He must be there. He told me yesterday his parents would be gone for the weekend. They left him to look after the sheep for those days. Poor baby, that must be hard work. He was probably just too busy to call me. I'll have to stay here until his parents come back and help him take care of those sheep. I knock on the door, but he doesn't answer. Maybe he fell asleep. The thought of his beautiful face, even more softened by sleep, makes me smile. I try the door, it's unlocked. There's hardly any crime around here, so I'm guessing locking the door is not needed. I try to be as quiet as possible as I sneak through the house. I want to surprise him. I cringe at every creak the stairs make as I climb them. Finally, I've reached the bedroom, and I carefully open the door. There he is, lying in bed as I fought. Quietly, I switch on the nightlight on his desk so I can see his face. His blue eyes are open, staring into space, and his whole face is one bloody mess. His cheeks have been carved, the skin mostly removed and hanging loose on the sides of his face. He's missing his fingernails, but I know where they are. They are laid out on the bed, carefully arranged. And, on his bare chest, words are carved. My last message. I look at him, my hands covering my mouth. He's still the same as I left him yesterday. He must have been so tired, he slept all day. How cute. Softly, I kiss his forehead, making sure I don't wake him. Then, I write another message below the one on his chest, letting him know I'm here when he needs me. I leave the room heading back outside. I think it's time for the sheep to quiet down and go to sleep. And tomorrow, and tomorrow, I think I'll introduce myself to his parents. I'm sure they'll love me too.